Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with the only one quick hits today. Uh, it is a great episode we got for you. Uh, quick hits usually come you twice a day, uh, but this week we're only doing it once. We've been busy. Uh, we have Canelo Sanders. It's in Saunders. Canelo Saunders in uh, AT&T Stadium in, in Arlington, Texas, and Dallas. Um, so we're going to be at that, and we've been doing a lot of work for that. Um, but... Let's get into today's show. Canelo versus Billy Just Before we do, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. Uh, 3D Boxing comes at you, like I said, twice a day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, twice a day, uh, just to keep you up to date on the latest and greatest boxing news and rumors. Um, <clears throat> sorry about that. So today's our uh, preview and prediction show, and you get all types of hot takes and Opinions. Um, we're gonna tell you how how it's gonna go. Um, Danny Garcia, um, Stephen Edwards, um, a lot of people were that's the bread man. Um, are picking Billy Joe to show well in this fight and, and make this competitive. And I, I'm hearing a lot of things. You know, Canelo has trouble with moving targets. He has trouble with pure boxers. And 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 I, and I want to debunk that. A little bit. Um, in, in the past, yes, he has Trout, Mayweather. Nobody's Mayweather. Okay, I, I don't want to go there. I, don't say he lost to Mayweather. Therefore, he's going to lose to Billy Joe Saunders. All right. First of all, that was almost ten years ago. Already, it was eight years ago, I believe. Um, seven, eight years ago. Canelo is a completely different fighter. Just like in the Trout fight. Just like in the Laura fight. He's much more skilled. He's defensively sound. His head movement is better. Like everything he does is better now at thirty than it was at twenty three, um, so I, I don't want to hear that, right? Like that—that's a non-starter to me. It, is that he lost to Laura seven years ago? He lost to, you know, Trout, Mayweather seven, eight, whatever. That's a non-starter to me. Um, Billy Joe is an excellent boxer. Billy Joe has no power. If you have no power, then you can't keep a, a master boxer puncher, um, like. Canelo off of you. Um, Canelo can box with him. I, I think the beginning of the fight is going to be fairly even. Um, I, I think, you know, four rounds in, we're looking at a you know a 2-2 two -two type of fight. And I think once Canelo starts really digging into the body, getting going, I think this fight is, is basically over. Um, I, I'm not sure how he stays in the fight. I'm not sure how Billy Joe... Once Canelo gets in, slows him down, gets his feet set and in front of him and cuts off the ring on Billy Joe, Billy Joe is able to keep on moving. Um, like Billy Joe got his 22-foot ring and this and that. Um, I, I, I just I don't see how he gets to work. You know, um, Billy Joe hasn't been fighting the best guy, level of opposition lately and we, and we beat up Canelo on that, but that's ridiculous. Um, you know, Billy Joe is a fine boxer. He doesn't have the power to establish himself. Same kind of critique I had on Sonny Edwards last week. Like, it's good, and he could beat a lot of guys. He could become a world champion this way. But you're not going to beat everyone this way. You're not going to beat the very, very best this way. And he's not going to beat Canelo this way. Um, I think, you know, starting in, I'd say about round four or five, Canelo really starts to slow him down. He digs to the body. Just the shots that hit him in the arm, really everything starts to, to, to slow him down. Uh, I think what is a competitive fight through four rounds becomes one-sided. Canelo seizes control of the fight, um, you know, throughout the mid-rounds, really starts to beat Billy Joe up, who, who now becomes a start sitting target. Um, you know, he sits in a little bit more. He slows down. He tries to hold a little bit, but it, 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 the writing's on the wall. I, I think we're going to see that going into the eighth, ninth round, Canelo really starts to put the hurt on him. And I'm going to say officially, uh, Canelo stops him in the 10th. I'm going to say Canelo uh, via 10th round TKO. I think he floors him, beats him up, slows him down. I think the body work overwhelms him. And I, I, I think that um, 
Billy Joe was surprised early on that he can't simply outbox Canelo, that the fight's kind of even, and he's not necessarily winning rounds, and he's taking as good as he's giving. Um, I, I think that plays on his head, and I think after that, you know, he's going to become more stationary, and once he does that, Canelo gets to his body, digs him, breaks him down, slows him down, and then it's just a matter of time. I do think Canelo will stop him, although I will say this, if Billy Joe really wants to survive, if he really wants to just see the 12th round, if he wants to hear the final bell, He's probably good enough to do it. He could probably get on his bike, um, run out the clock, hold on when Canelo gets close. He'll never really fight to win. If he fights to win, he's going to lose. If he fights to survive, he may be able to make it all 12 rounds. So it, it depends on Billy Joe. You know, if Billy Joe is a world-class fighter. He's a world champion, two-to-weight division world champion. One legitimately. Uh, 160 is a legitimate world champion. Uh, 68, the belt is kind of bleh, and He's fought kind of bleh, opposition. Um but Billy Joe's a really good fighter. So if he wants to make it through, he'll make it through. Um, but I think after the fourth round or so that this becomes one-sided. Um, and then it's a matter of if Billy Joe wants to survive or he wants to win. If he wants to win, he can't survive. If he wants to survive, he can't win. So I don't see a path to victory for Billy Joe. I don't think this fight's competitive. I think Canelo's a lot better now than he was seven years ago when he struggled with master boxes. Also, I would say this... Uh, Laura is a way better fighter than Billy Joe. Way better. He's uh, got way more power. He's way better on his feet. He's way better on using the ring. He's a way, get a way better gym. Laura at 154 is way better than Saunders was at 160 or 168. If they fought today, when, when Laura's 38 at 160, right? Laura's at 60 now. If Billy Joe could come back down to 60 and fight Laura, I'd pick Laura to beat him. Like I even think at this point, Laura's still better. Um, so I, I don't like that comparison. I think Trout's a better comparison, but, but Trout has pop. Billy Joe doesn't. Um, so I, I don't like those as compared. Don't ever compare Billy Joe or anyone else to Floyd. That's a different. That's a different animal entirely. So I, I don't like the previous comparisons of, of, of the slick boxers that could else want to pass. I don't think that's going to, I don't think you're going to see that holds true. He, you know, he, he had no problem, a very little problem with Jacobs. who's a good boxer. Uh, Jacobs turned southpaw, did have some success, but Jacobs has pop again. Billy Joe does not. You just can't walk in the front door against uh, Jacobs like you can against Billy Joe. So um, I, I think Canelo has his moments. I think uh, Canelo gets rid of him, uh, like I said, 10th round. Uh, but please like and subscribe. Share 3D Boxing on uh, all forms of social media. Um, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all the whole thing. Also, like our new channel, Texas Boxing Team, which is completely dedicated to the Lone Star State. Um, boxing in the Lone Star State. Uh, please like, uh, subscribe. That help us get to a thousand day brand new channel. Please help us monetize it. All proceeds are going to go to autism research and recovery. Uh, please like, subscribe, share in all forms. Again, um, I would appreciate that. Um, it is May 7th, 2021. Um, Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in. From Texas to the world, thank you and God. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.